The Mustard Seed Media video podcast is sponsored and created by Mustard Seed Media, Inc., creating and developing media and web for tomorrow's Christian ministries. On the web at mustardseedmedia.com. Okay, so let's open up Drupal.org and let's do a little CMS magic. Okay, so let's start with this Photoshop document here and let's turn this thing into a website. Let's get right down to it and edit some CSS, shall we? Welcome to the Mustard Seed Media Video Podcast. My name is Bob, and this is the podcast for Drupal web designers. Drupal is really good at building community-style websites, isn't it? It is. And one thing that every community-style website should have are user profiles. Today I'm going to show you how to theme user profiles, how to lay them out just how you want them to look and feel. Uh, and we're going to do this with the core Drupal uh, profile module. Uh, now, you can lay out profiles using things like BioModule. Uh, theming nodes is exactly like theming nodes because they are nodes. Uh, with user profile, it's a little bit different, though, or with profile module, uh, because you're not actually theming a node. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to theme uh, using the core profile module today. Just give you a couple little t uh, tips and tricks, and, you know, it's not going to be anything fancy. I'm not going to come up with a big, uh, you know, sort of extensive layout, but I'm just going to show you how to get the data you need and uh, then you can take it from there. So let's dive right in. So what we did is we just enabled Drupal's core for profile module. It comes with Drupal core. Uh, you enable that, and then what you can do is you can go to your profile screen, and you can start adding fields. Uh, so you'll see all I did here is I added a couple of fields. Uh, I added somebody's full name, uh, and this is the machine-readable name, and then I uh, added a bio, so we could have a short biography or something. So let's look at uh, just my profile that I put together real quick. And what we have here uh, is just the, the stuff that I filled out. So here's my full name, here's my bio. Uh, if we go into the edit screen, uh, it's this stuff. So all added, uh, that's the easy part. But let's look at the profile page. It's pretty ugly, right? Uh, you know, it's not something that, you know, maybe we don't want history on there. Maybe we want this laid out differently than it is. This is where we're going to theme it, and I'm going to show you the files uh, and the variables and stuff to look for when you're doing that. So the first thing you're going to do is go into the uh, core modules folder. Now, you're not going to modify this. Don't modify this. Uh, but we're going to go get a template file that we're going to override. Uh, now, you would think all sense tells you that it would be in the profile uh, module, wouldn't it? It's not. I don't know why. Uh, it's in the user module. So you go into user module and find something called user-profile.tpl.php. I'm going to open that. I'm going to copy all of this. And remember this name, user-profile.tpl.php. And I'm going to go back to my theme, uh, which in this case I'm just using uh, Garland. Uh, so it's probably in your site's folder, but it's in my themes folder. And I'm going to create a new file that's the same name, user-profile.tpl.php. I'm going to paste this in there and I'm going to save it. Uh, and then, of course, I'm going to go and I'm going to make sure I clear my cache. Uh, this is because Drupal loves to cache stuff, uh, and if we don't do this, you may not see your changes. So I'm going to go back to my user profile page, and we're going to start to work on it. First thing I'm going to do is uh, just test to make sure it's working. Just throw that in there. We'll refresh, and it is. You'll see my changes are showing up there. Now, uh, I'm going to do a whole episode in the future on print R. Uh, I showed you a little bit. If you go back to, uh, there's an episode, a Mustard Seed podcast episode uh, about theming a blog, and I talk about print R node. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use uh, print R. Um, and it's kind of a weird thing. Uh, it's something I don't really understand, and I may be missing something, but this is how I always do it. Someone please correct me or tell me where I'm wrong or if I'm wrong. Uh, usually in these template files, they do a really good job of giving you available variables. They say, hey, these are going to be the variables that have all your stuff in them that you need. For some reason, this file does not, or uh, at least the variables it give you, gives you do not have the stuff you need in them. Uh, the variable you actually want in here is called account. So let's do a print R on account. And this is actually going to give me all of my user information that I need. So if we shift refresh, you'll see that here's all my info. It's going to include all your uh, profile information, all your lo user location information, absolutely everything uh, that you're going to need to theme 
your profile page. So once we do that, now all we got to do is start picking out fields. So let's, uh, let's print my full name uh, at the top as, uh, you know, maybe as an H2. So we can go up and just go H2. So all I did, again, is I went back to my print R. I looked, I have profile underscore full name. And if I print account, profile underscore full name, save it. Let's see if that puts it up as an H2. And there it is. Let's throw the bio in there. I'm just going to copy this because it's the same format. And I'm actually going to delete my print R because at this point, with the two fields that we have, oh, that didn't work. I think it's called biography. Helps to look at your print R to make sure you got the right info. Yep, there we go. Uh, so there we have it. So I can obviously do anything I want. Um, you know, if you have a user, a uh, you know, user image, uh, a profile photo, you know, I can make it bold. I can do whatever formatting I want with the fields I have. Uh, one little tip here: it's a really good idea to make sure that they filled out that um, that field with an if statement. So before just about everything you print, you may want to do something like this. just to make sure that the uh, data is actually there. So if they don't fill it out, you won't have a blank space, you won't have a blank div, uh, any of that stuff. So print our account. Again, it's not in here. I don't know why it's not in here. Someone tell me why it's not in here. But it's not. Print our account is what you want. Uh, when you print that out, you'll get all the data you could possibly imagine about your user. Uh, you put it in this user-profile.tpl.php. Uh, lay it out however you want, and you're off to the races. If you have questions, go ahead and post them over at mustardseedmedia.com slash podcast, and I will answer them. And if you have ideas for future shows, be sure to let me know. Also, check out uh, my audio podcast over at geeksandguy.com. A uh, whole new look to that site coming soon. We're redesigning it right now. Uh, so that's it. I will see you next week on the Mustard Seed Media video podcast. <laughs>